Now, the sport of boxing has the potential to cause brain injuries, but now it's being used to help people with a degenerative brain condition. Auckland's Parkinson's expert Lisa Gombitsky Roach has teamed up with former pro boxer Shane Cameron to run fitness classes specifically for people with Parkinson's, and they both join us right now. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely Good morning. to have you in the studio. I find this absolutely fascinating. Lisa, tell us about your background and how the classes came about. So I'm um, conductive education is my professional background. I've been working teaching people with Parkinson's and other neurological conditions, strategies and skills to better manage living with those conditions and living well. I'm also a personal trainer that specializes in disability. And I um, followed some literature coming out of the States, both in terms of changing guidelines for the Parkinson's population and um, boxing being used as a modality for training. and. Um, started a tiny pilot group and got too big for where we were and approached Shane to see if we could make something bigger happen. Wow, looking at it on screen there, it looks great. Now Shane, did the concept surprise you when Lisa first approached you? Yeah, yeah, well I went down and, and seen her. She was at another premise at the time and just told me a bit about it. And so I went and did some research on a US program that's run called Rocksteady. And, and then from there, you know, she come up to my German, I just, I see the benefits. I see the benefits, like anything, if you don't use it, you lose it, you know, and yeah. it's not like the Parkinson's doesn't mean they're going to get, there's no one getting, getting, getting impact to the head. Yeah, they're not getting punched in the no, face, are no, they? No, exactly, no, it's about the timing and rhythm and balance and stuff, that's something that they struggle with, yeah. you know, so I always say if you don't use it, you lose it, you know, so mm -hmm. they use the timing and, and all that sort of stuff, so I've, I've educa educated myself a little bit more about Parkinson's, they say, if you meet someone with Parkinson's, you've only met one person with Parkinson's just because the symptoms are so different to, yeah. from one person to the next. But, but I do, do see the benefits. Uh, Lisa, what's, what difference do you see in your clients taking counterpart? So Parkinson's from a classes? physical point of view, I see like tremors stop, I see posture improving, I see balance. But the bigger things I see is I see people having fun and it's you know a condition where apathy and depression are really common. And I see people laughing and having a good time and being silly and enjoying and I see people having confidence where previously maybe they were embarrassed or frightened to mm. show their shake or worried about falling over. And that is almost bigger than the physical. It sounds really great. We should hear what your clients have to say about it. <laughs> I find that I, my uh, coordination is a lot better since I've been coming to boxing. I come to boxing because I thoroughly enjoy it and it expands my capabilities. And also, I would hope that it's going to stem the progress of Parkinson's. That looks so awesome. Shane, what do you think it is about the classes that's actually helping people with Parkinson's? Yeah, well, it's the timing and the rhythm and the balance, all that mm. sort of stuff. But like, as Lisa pointed out, it's, it's, it's so fun. They have, you know, they, they take up the whole gym when they're in the gym. I've got a thousand square meters, so it's a big space. But when they're when they're there, you know that they're there. You know, they're partying, they're rocking. They sometimes do dance classes, and all sorts of stuff. And then they're holding pairs, and then and some of them want to spar me. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. I need to get some training in before I get in the ring with you guys. <laughs> oh, it sounds so cool. And I think also a part of boxing training like this uh, is the fact that it's such great therapy if you're having Absolutely. a bad day, yeah. isn't it, Lisa? Absolutely. And, you know. People don't die of Parkinson's, they die with it, but being alone and being isolated, those are really serious complications of having Parkinson's. And these guys don't just get to fight back, but they get to do it with a posse of other people who are fighting the same battle, they've got the same enemy, and they come together, plus they have a chance to take out some of those frustrations, mm. you know. I think if I was told I had an incurable degenerative disease, I would be angry, I would be grieving, I would be frustrated and you know they get to come in and they get to fight back instead of just going home and accepting that this is what it is. And I do boxing training, I love it for that, I do it for the same reason, I mean not for these reasons obviously but it's just so therapeutic and it must be great the social element of it too for them. Absolutely um, and I think like that social and psychosocial is almost more important than anything else like yeah they stand straighter and maybe they shake less or maybe their balance is better but they're not alone in this battle. They're not isolated. Mm. They've got friends. They've got communities. We celebrate everything. We celebrate anniversaries. We celebrate birthdays. And, um, I, you know, I asked my class this morning, I said, you know, what's the most important thing? And they all said the camaraderie and the team. It is so important. Absolutely. Shane, now you're training our instructors to take this around the country, aren't you? So can any personal trainer teach it? Yes. Oh, the, 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 yeah, there is. They, 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 they do Lisa's course. Lisa has a course. So right. I, I do the PT side of things, but okay. Lisa does the, the Parkinson's side of things. So it's a bit more, uh, I like to say, probably out of my depth in terms of the knowledge that they need yeah. to pick up, you know. So it's, uh, but Lisa is moving around the country and 
So you're in 14 well. places at the moment? Yeah, 14 locations in New Zealand, two international, and we'd like to see as many people with Parkinson's have not only access to quality exercise, but to know that they can have an instructor who understands the specific issues around Parkinson's and who's trained to take care of them and to push them in a way that's going to help them fight back. That sounds great. Hey Shane, from your point of view, what's it been like from being a pro fighter to, to stopping that and doing this sort of thing? Yeah, well, the, like, <clears throat> like, uh, I like I love helping people anyway, you yeah. know, and so this this is, is a part of that, you know, so it's, uh, I see, like I said, I see the benefits and you just see the response that you get from them, they all love it and like, there's a lot, a lot to be said for just being happy. You're right, and keeping active it is so very important in boxing. Try it out, it's so much fun. Hey, thank you both very much for joining Pleasure. us today. Thank Sounds you, fantastic. Uh, now, if you want more information about becoming a coach or joining a class near you, you can check out the Counterpunch Parkinson's website.